polling stations in Sri Lanka have closed for the country's presidential elections. Voting was held across the country's 13,134 polling stations. The counting of votes is expected to start at about 9.30 p.m. later this evening. Over 17 million voters were eligible to cast votes to elect the country's president. The voting is said to have been by and large peaceful. The results are anticipated by Sunday morning. Now, this, remember, was the first election in Sri Lanka since the 2022 crisis when the country's economy had buckled and defaulted on the foreign debt due to critical foreign exchange shortage. Now, the economic recovery is the core campaign issue for the 38 candidates who are in the fray. All eyes, of course, are on the three main candidates, President Ranul Vikramasinghe, the main opposition leader Sajid Premadasa and the Marxist-leaning challenger Anura Kumara Disanayake, who's had a high chance of winning the opinion polls. Now, 35 cases of election law violations were reported during the first three hours of polling. The Minister of Public Security has said that curfew will be imposed if the need arises and it will be enforced strictly if violence were to erupt. Sri Lankan President Ronald Vikramasinghe called this election a turning point for the country as he cast his vote. Now, Vikramasinghe is in fact running for re-election as an independent candidate, building on the success of his efforts to steer Sri Lanka out of the 2022 economic meltdown, which triggered massive protests and forced the Gotabaya Rajapaksa uh, government at that time to flee from the country. Vikramasinghe is in fact being challenged by Anura Kumara Disanayake from the Janata Vimukti Premuna party and Sajid Premadasa of the Samaji Jana Balavegaya party. All right, now to give us more insights in terms of what, of course, is happening at this moment in Sri Lanka, we're being joined by our correspondent, Dasuni Atara, who's joining us live on this broadcast. Dasuni, this, of course, is a very crucial election for the people in Sri Lanka, considering the fact that it is happening in the aftermath of that complete turmoil that, that we witnessed two years ago. Give us a sense of what, of course, is happening at this moment. Voting has come to an end and counting of the votes will begin later this evening. Yes, absolutely. I'm at a prominent polling station here in Colombo, where it was just declared that polling is now over and it has officially come to an end. We did see a few voters who still came to the premise just a mere few minutes ago, but they were turned around, which means officially that polling is now over and no more voters can enter these premises and cast their vote. Uh, we believe that the officials inside this election premise is now sealing up the ballot boxes, which will now leave this premise to the main counting center here in Colombo. What is also interesting is as of 3 p.m., the, the results and the information that we got with regard to voter turnout was at 60 percent at a majority of these electorates. It will be interesting to see now, especially since polls are over, what that total voter percentage and that total voter turnout is. This is undoubtedly one of the most pivotal elections here in Sri Lanka, especially given the fact for the first time it is not only a two-horse race, but there are four main candidates in contention for this title of president. Now, one thing that a lot of people would be looking at, the Sunnis, you know, how do the people in Sri Lanka judge the performance of Ronald Vikramasinghe as being the man in charge to try and bring about some semblance of stability in a country that's witnessed a lot of economic turmoil? What are the people in Sri Lanka saying? Do they want more of Ronald Vikramasinghe as, as the man at the top or are they looking for other options? One thing's for sure, the voters are as divisive as the politicians, especially in this election, because we did see a faction of these voters who came in to cast their vote, who are in favor of the president, saying that nothing trumps uh, the stability that the economy has right now, especially those who remember what transpired in 2022. We all saw how a majority, if not all of Sri Lankans, were out of power, fuel, gas, there were massive queues mobs of protesters. So a majority of these voters do feel that what the president has done is quite good and sufficient, while there is a considerable other faction who feels that the remedies sort of given forward by the president-led government is quite too strong and a little unbearable in terms of high taxes and higher costs of living. That is why a lot of these voters will be heading to polls, who have already headed to polls rather, with the hope 
and wish of wanting for change. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Dasuni Tara, for joining us and getting us that perspective there. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.